Hi, this is a demo of Path Partners Android 2.0 based media device software platform. The platform itself is versatile and could be used for various verticals like DPF, setup box, web TV, media phone, etc. What we have here is a completely integrated media phone software solution running on a BeagleBoard based touchbook platform. It integrates all the necessary functionalities like security, video telephony, operator services, rich media apps, and internet applications. Here we have a completely customized home screen. The emphasis has been on usability with specialized and custom made widgets added on the home screen. What we have here is a weather widget, a clock widget, a TV widget, and a photo widget. I'm going to demonstrate adding a widget enough. I'm going to add a to-do widget. And then I add a digital clock. So if I don't like the digital clock, I can delete it. Yeah, so that's how it is. One of the highlights of the software is its customized phone book. What we have here is a dialer and these are the buttons to control it. This is the button for the voice, the video, the SMS, and the safe. And this is the on-screen keyboard. And this is your call log with the all calls, the missed calls, the received calls, etc. So we can also uh, reply call back using this voice button or make a video call or send an SMS or edit this contact. And what we have here is a phone book in which I can search for a contact. So I can search for it or and then what we am, what I'm going to show is the integration that it has with Twitter. So it can pull the latest updates from Twitter right into your phone book. What I'm going to show now is the set of applications that we have to consume media from the local and from the internet sources. So what we have here is the internet radio, the movie application, the YouTube application, the TV application which pulls a schedule from the internet, and the photo application which pulls photos from your Flickr, from your uh, local computer, and also fr uh, from the device itself. And we of course have the music player which plays the local music. So let me show you the internet radio application. So these are the various genres. And then over here, you'll get the list of channels. And then I select one of the channels and it starts playing. So now I'm gonna exit from this application and get into the movie application which shows you the, the recent movies that are there. Mm -hmm. And then I could search for a movie if I want to, otherwise I just press escape, I go back to the application. And then if I want to see say the trailer of Avatar, I click on preview. and the trailer starts playing. You Jake Sally? I'd like to talk to you about a fresh start on a new world. You'd be making a difference. I became a Marine for the hardship. I told myself I can pass any test a man can pass. All I ever wanted was a single thing worth fighting for. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. You should 
can see your faces. They have an indigenous population called the Nabi. They are very hard. You can also check the show times or book tickets for the show. So now let's get into the YouTube application. So this gives you an op uh, option of the showing the most rated videos or the most recent videos, the most viewed, etc. You can also bookmark the videos or search for a video you like. So the next application is a TV application which pulls, pulls the TV show times from the various channels that you like. Over here what we have is just three channels. So we can check the uh, sh the details of the show and then we can also click to find out more or just look at the details and the cast information. So that's what the TV application does. It, it can also show you the trailers if you're interested in. And now what we have is our powerful photo application which pulls photos from the internet which pulls photos from the internet, the local PC, and also the device itself. So what the photos that you see here are from the local PC. And then if you're, uh, these are the photos from Flickr. So this gets downloaded and the next time you go to the same page, it doesn't get, uh, it plays back from the cache so that you don't have to download it again. And you can go to Bob Lee's Flickr feed if you're interested. Then you can also add new contacts over there. So you can click on a photo, start a slideshow, 